your energy forecast for July 2024. On July 22nd, we are going to have a major shift in our mood, in our attitude, in our energy, in our circumstances, because the sun is leaving cancer season and moving into his rulership in Leo season. This is definitely what we've been waiting for. It is going to help dry us up and dry us off of all of that heavy weight, that heavy emotion that many of us been sitting in since we entered into that solstice energy and kicked off cancer season. The sun in his rulership in this Leo energy, the heart and soul of the zodiac, is going to invite us to come out to play. Many of us very introverted throughout cancer season as we were trying to stick to what was tried, tested, and true, while some foundations, some structures were rapidly changing. We had a lot of inner child wounds that we had to address. We had a lot of pain and trauma in the familial section to address. We had a lot of circumstances that definitely came to an end and pushed us inward in order to really figure out who it is that we now are separate, detached from a lot of the things that we had a struggle with trying to let go. The sun now in Leo energy we are bold and brave and courageous. We are coming out of our little cocoon, our little shell, if you will. This is very much an extroverted type of energy. We want to be seen. We want to be heard. We have a lot to say. There's been a lot of change, not only in our physical realm, but within us. We are building in our self-esteem, in our confidence, in our individuality, which of course the sun and the Leo energy definitely promote. We've had a lot of things that we had to let go of, a lot of doors that we had to close. And technically speaking, we had to nail some of those babies shut for good. And now we have this new energy taking over. Now the Leo energy being the heart and soul of the Zodiac, it is a fixed fire sign. So fixed signs help us to stabilize. They always kind of follow in the path of cardinal energies. Of course, cancer energy was a cardinal energy. That is where we have a major pivot, a major change, a major shift in our mood, in our attitude, in our identity, in our path, in our direction. And I think it's very safe to say that we could all use a little bit of a break. We could all use a little bit more stability and a thick sign is definitely going to allow us to do just that. Fire energy, first of all, helps us to burn through the cords, the attachments that we have had definitely be thrown in our face through cancer season. Again, cancer energy, the natural disposition there is to hold on to the past, to romanticize the past, to be so nostalgic that we start reframing some of our not so nice experiences into a better light just to kind of justify us not making the changes that we know that we need to make. Because because a new foundation emerged out of cancer season, now we are being asked to take center stage. Again, there is a little bit of an attention-seeking energy with Leo energy, as it should. Of course, Leo energy represented by the lion, we have a huge sense of pride. We need to roar. We need to remind ourselves and the other jungle-dwelling beings that we rule this place, that we're going to be okay. We are now kind of wearing our pain and trauma wounds as a badge of honor. We are really putting ourselves out there. We want to stand in our own uniqueness, our own individuality, and we feel like we need to share our thoughts, our ideas, our experiences. So things are going to get a little bit loud, a little bit proud, a little bit playful. That Leo energy is the childlike playful energy, the innocence, if you will, that emerges out of us doing the inner child work to address the pain and trauma wounds that, of course, were thrown in our face while cancer season unfolded. And so now it's time to shine. It's time for us to bust out. It's time for us to blossom into this new version of selves. And it's time to kind of add a little bit of spice back to our lives. This is a great time for us to just enjoy life. And you may be saying, well, how am I supposed to enjoy life when everything in my physical realm is 
was falling apart, it is not falling apart, it is falling into place. We have a mission here to build our inner realm up to a place of happiness, of joy, of safety, of security, so that it does not matter what's going on in the external realm. We have our little paradise, our little piece of heaven within us. Now it's time for us to really get serious on where it is that we have to infuse fun back into our day-to-day -day lives. Now, this is a very entertaining type of season, meaning that, again, we all want to be seen. We all want to be heard. We're all coming out of the woodwork in order to take center stage. There is a new form that, of course, our soul and spirit needs us to take on to fully animate and express through this physical avatar. We've had some major changes, some major revelations, and now it's time for us to bust out and actually anchor this new version of self in our physical realms. It is time to be a little bit more expressive. Again, take the microphone, stand in the spotlight, be seen, be heard, bring your talents to the forefront. This is a time where, again, yes, we want to stand in our unique individuality, but we also want to really focus in on how bringing our unique talents and skills to the center stage could help the world, the people around us. So, of course, there are pros for every particular energy and there are cons. We're going to use this as a cautionary note to not be so extra that you're creating a shit storm of experience, of circumstance, of drama for yourself, for the world around you. Sometimes we can take the attention seeking to a not so nice level. We want to understand that this is a time for big gestures, for grand expressions, but of course we have to do so in moderation. Because the sun is the life force energy that creates all life here on earth plane, because we're being asked to take center stage, to take that microphone, to take that spotlight, we could also push that boundary into being too self-centered, too vain too extra, too attention seeking, and of course, not open up our heart space as we need to be doing here in this Leo energy to allow other people to share that stage with us. This is definitely going to be a time where, again, we're being asked to kind of boss up. We're being asked to allow our higher selves to take a lead, even though the sun and Leo energy is very connected to the ego avatar that we are building, the soul and the spirit, the higher self, has reached new levels of awareness, of knowledge, of information, has reached new levels of consciousness, and therefore the soul and spirit that we're now operating from is asking to be fully expressed, brought into form here through the physical avatar. This is a time where we should be leaning into expressing our happiness, expressing our joy, kind of laughing again, having a dark sense of humor here about some of the situations and circumstances that we are experiencing here on the earth plane. Because this is a fire energy, we do have the ability to regenerate our soul self. We do have this ability to reignite the fire, the spark, the flame with new passions, new interests, new excitement, new inspirations to motivate us to actually make a move and start moving forward. Because we are moving into the chapter of the Zodiac Wheel, where now it's time to bring this version of self out to play and to kind of, I'm going to say, infuse ourselves with the world, with the people around us, it's time for us to share our unique experiences. What makes us us? Yes, it is great to define what makes us us, but again, we also have to look for the commonalities that joins humanity together. So this is is definitely going to be a time where we get the boss up and take the lead in our lives. Many of us have been waiting for this green light go ahead to take action, to make moves. Leo season is going to provide us that opportunity to do so. If you haven't downloaded your Leo season e-guide as of yet, I'm going to recommend you do that. Not that Leo season is so crazy and chaotic that you're going to have a hard time keeping up with the energies, but of course we want to stay in alignment with the energies, especially with the heart and soul of the Zodiac. There is a lot of, I'm going to call it smaller adjustments that are going to be taking place throughout Leo season to help us kind of 
refine and define where it is that we're going from here, there are going to be plenty of opportunities to make adjustments to really see where we need to rearrange a couple of things in our lives. And we can thank Mercury going retrograde in Leo season for that opportunity. So take a look at where it is in your chart that Leo energy rules over. Again, there's July Zodiac forecast to kind of help indicate to you what area of your life is going to be impacted and influenced the most. That Leo season e-guide there is available for your downloading pleasure in order to stay in alignment and ahead of the game. And of course, there is always jumping over to my Patreon, accessing those astro classes in order to do a deep dive on how this Leo energy is going to impact and influence you the most.